how's it going everyone we are doing another day in the life video so before when i checked in with you guys i was telling you about my new position as community outreach coordinator for houston community college well i've been promoted to interim director of communications for the college in the same department just another position just offering more ways to expand and talk about communication so right now i'm going to show you guys a week in the life again of a interim director of communications or for a director of communications position for any of you that have just been hired as a director of communications and looking into what it consists of this is what we're going to show you guys so right now we have our welcome back week so the campus is bustling with so many students so we're going to show you guys what's happening right now they're doing their first day for welcome back week where they're doing donuts right now with all of the students let me show you what's going on So we're in the office now and I'm getting ready to take a meeting as the new interim community communications director for HCC. So you're going to see a little bit of that. This is some of the things that we do in office that's different. You guys already see my long board of tasks and I have that separated for each different thing. I'm going to show you the board in just a bit too, but let's take a listen to what they're talking about in this STEM day meeting. This is another thing that we do as director of communications, figure out how we're going to market their day and their event. So let's take a listen. I just want to just let you guys know that um, we don't have a problem with creating the flyer for you guys. We just need the information that you would want on the flyer. You just mentioned names. If you wanted to include some speakers on there we would just need that as well showing you guys my to-do board and you can still hear my computer in the background going off so now that i've been promoted and still doing my community outreach i have a whole lot more to get done and to manage so here's my board that's keeping me really organized i have my speaking engagements my in-person meetings social media and marketing needs and tasks some in-office to-dos that I need to make sure it gets completed, virtual meetings and community outreach. That list continues to build bigger and bigger. I have everything organized and lined out. And whenever we come back here, you will see a whole bunch of different departments reaching out about flyers and promotions, different things that they need for marketing for their department. So this is one right here. You guys can just simply see her response to the flyer that was already created. She sent in some additions and some edits. This was the flyer that we created for, for Deaf Awareness Week. And she needs a couple of things changed on here. She also wants this picture here to be replaced with a faculty member or a staff member that they actually have on board. So that's something that we're going to manage for and take care of. We also have some other things that we need to get done as far as for the other departments. And then I have my own events that I have ready to go. So you guys can see my calendar here. It's already booked with a whole bunch of stuff coming up. They actually already have some things for next month on there as well. So if I click on to my schedule for next month, I do have my hurricane webinar that we have partnered up with KHOU. So their meteorologist is going to be providing all kind of information to our community members for that. So I'm going to be reaching out to a lot of community members now today so that they are informed about our webinar that's going to be happening September 7th. This is just another task that we take care of inside of the office before we actually go out and about working as the communications director for HCC Central. So stick along with me. It's a long, long day and week that we're going to have. We also have another event coming up, uh, our town hall that we're doing for 
Dr. Siddiqui, which is the president. Let me show you that flyer that I've sent to Dr. Siddiqui. Everybody approves of it. And we are going to be sending out the guest list for everyone as well. So the, here is the social graphic that we created. This is going to be happening. And then we have the actual flyer right here that was approved by Dr. Siddiqui as well. That's going to also go out. So we're going to start sending out these invites this week so that we can start getting a number of people that are going to be attending this town hall that I am organizing. Dinner will also be served. So you guys are going to see that event. Another part of the job as the director of communications for HCC Central is creating these graphics and flyers that go around the campus and through our communication platforms. So this is the free haircuts for the Barber College. I use a system called Canva. And if you guys are not familiar with the system, it is really, really great when you need to create flyers, graphics, brochures, programs, whatever it is on a deadline. They come with all of the different tools that you need. We can add our logo on there. It's really, really useful. So this is another part of the job that you have to get done and you have to learn in order to complete the job. Okay, folks, it's another day in the life of a director of communications for Houston Community College, my new position that I was promoted to. So like I told you guys before, I do have my event coming up. Another part is promoting that event all around campus. So you guys can see here we have our podium stands here and we put a lot of the flyers in here, the posters that I created for my events. So this is my free hurricane preparedness webinar that's going to be happening on September 7th with the beautiful meteorologist here from KHOU, Ms. Kim Castro, she's gonna be doing that. And then we have on the flip side, the same flyer so that people can see both ways what's going on. So if they're coming out or if they're coming in, they will see that actual flyer. And then we have some other stands and um, platforms all around the campus that has other things involved as well. So let's go see what's going on and get this day started. Here's the other platform that I told you guys about. So this is the flyer that you saw me create earlier and our administrative assistant, Tanya Brown, has been putting up these flyers and posters all around campus. So this is the one for the free haircuts. And then we also designed another one for October, September, October, we have HIV and STI testing that's gonna be happening here at the WW Horman building. So these are really, really great for the students because as they're walking from out of the classrooms, they're able to see it. This is just another way that we can communicate our message through the college. Today is going to be a office day. We got a lot of work to do here in the office. I need to send out a lot of things. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm working on right now, but then I need to send out another invite, a couple of invites to our town hall that we're going to be having on the 26th. And I need to prepare for my webinar that I'm doing tomorrow for hurricane awareness, as well as send out another flyer design that a department had. So that's going to be done. Let me show you guys what I'm working on now. You can see right here on the screen, we just finished designing a t-shirt for the design department here at HCC. They're going to be using these t-shirts for their upcoming event happening on December, well, happening on September 13th, which is called Design Edge. So that's some more of the job that you got to get done. Sometimes you have to chunk these things out and send them out so that these departments can have what they need on time for their events. Let's check back in in just a bit to see what else we have planned for the day. Right now, you're taking a look at the video that I put together for the HCC Central Barber College. This is a promotional video. We're going to be welcoming back the free haircuts, which is what you guys saw earlier. As you can see right now, post it on the platforms around campus. I had to go and shoot a video, and this video we shared on social media and through email marketing for all of our students and community members to receive. So this is another part of the job. You're going to be speaking with different department heads, getting them to get on camera and promote the program that they have for their actual department. So this is something that I was able to edit using Power Director and get it up and post it on the websites. It is Saturday in the week in the life of a director of communications for Houston Community College. Ma'am, we're getting ready to hit one of my community outreach events that's gonna be happening not too far from my apartment which is pretty great because I hate traveling too long. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like there and what we do for community outreach. Again, another part of the job since I'm handling both director of communications and community outreach coordinator duties and responsibilities. 
We've made it to the event, so it's Morgan and Associates Dental Office. They're doing a beat the rush free dental cleaning for the kids out here in the community. We're all set up here, so let me actually give you a better view of the table, what we have on the table, so as community members come walking in, what they can grab and pick out. Here we have our table set up. We got a lot of goodies on here that we got from promotions. We have our fans, we have some pencils and rulers, neat, neat little things for the kids for school. We have keychains, sunglasses, flags, those are sewing kits. We have notebooks, towels, a whole bunch of things for the kids to come in and take. And this is absolutely free for the community as they come out here for the event. They're going to check in up there, sit down here, wait to be called inside to get their free dental cleaning. As you guys can see, everybody's getting ready to head in there. We got the kiddos out here. They're getting ready to get their teeth clean. Simple instructions. Okay, so my t-shirts and QR code cards have come in. Here's a look at how they look. This is going to be for the design department, fashion merchandising department. They're gonna be going to an event tomorrow called Design Edge. They need these QR code cards and this was a last minute project. So we were able to get these in on time as well as the t-shirt that I designed for them. And here it goes. So I just okay. finished emailing and their I, dean and instructor who will be stopping by to pick these up for their event tomorrow. Well, I'm heading to the George R. Brown Convention Center. Our interior design department is there competing in a design edge competition. You guys seen those t-shirts and the QR code cards that we created earlier for them to market themselves while they're there and market the program. I'm going to go and grab some pictures over there with them as they're gonna be doing a presentation on stage. So come along with me, see me capturing that because we're gonna be using these pictures to post on social media and to let everyone know what's going on with our interior design group and program. We're also gonna be sharing this in the October newsletter. So again, that's another part of the job, writing newsletters. And this is gonna be one of the things that's gonna go inside the newsletter. So we need some professional pictures. Let's head in there and go get them. So today is a work in office day. We have to do a lot of things online and in the computer so we can get things done. So let me show you guys what we're gonna be doing first. We have to get everybody paid. So I'm gonna go in here and being a director now, I have access to manager self-service. So I go down here, make sure that we're getting everyone paid. And here I go to approve time, approve time here. It's gonna bring up Miss Tanya. I just have to bring her name into it. And there she goes. There goes her hours that are here or there. I just click on that. Very, very simple and just press approve because I know that she worked those 80 hours. The version of it so they can watch it back and yes. see themselves. Yes, okay. yeah. That's another good thing about it is that they can see themselves, they can hear themselves. Perfect. All right, let me come right here. All right, and go ahead. Here you can see that I am taking some more professional photos of our students who are interacting in the real class session for our website and programs. It is the final day of our week in the life of a director of communications. Here you can see I'm setting up for the town hall meeting that we're going to be having at Central Campus. I'm getting the banner set up and everything else. This town hall is really important because we have a lot of different community members from different organizations that are going to be joining us. Our dean is going to be presenting along with so our interim chancellor, as well Abby as our president, ACC Dr. Madisir Siddiqui. You definitely want to hear that as well. So if you just raise your hand, we're going to go around and now pass the mic to you. And any one of our dean program directors or managers can answer your question for you. Just direct it to one of them. So any questions right now? All right, we're going to come back here. Why are you about to say that's him? Ask that question again. Um, I didn't hear anything about international. Who else is missing? Okay, everyone, so it is the Andy. end of the week for me. We had a long day in the life week and a lot of things that I've shown you guys. So this is the last thing that we're gonna be doing. I have to do a meeting to give an overview of our town hall meeting with the rest of the Director of Communications yes, and Communications Department. Yeah, so I have that up and ready yes, to go. I'm and sorry. I'm gonna show you a little bit of it right now. As you can see, it's we're getting ready to start the meeting. It. I'm doing the meeting from home to get some rest because it has been, again, like I said, an extremely long week. So I am 
beat out. So we're going to get well, ready to do this meeting. The others are being called and Andy to relax, and uh, Diana the rest of the will evening. answer the call. All right, you guys, this is the last day. I wanted to wrap it up with this. I know you need to show you all the preparation before because we were super busy, but this is the last day of a week in the life of a director of communication services for HCC. As you can see, we are at the parade right now, and I'm going to be showing you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be walking in the Cultural Nigeria Parade here in downtown Houston. All right, you guys, so we have started the parade. Y'all say hi to the camera. <laughs> Do I got everybody? There we go. So we are almost getting ready to start the route and once we get up there we'll start throwing out some of the promotional items that we have. We have a small group but we are making sure that we are walking through this parade. You can see everybody else in front of us and we got a big gap behind of us. There we go. Here's the best part about parking. Everybody can see HCC, Community College Central Campus. You can see everybody getting some promotional items from our student volunteers that have come out to the parade. And it's gonna be, it's a good time. It's a good turnout. Everybody's having a good time. 